There you go, folks. We're using the uh, gel fuel. It's running out a bit now, to be honest. That I put a bit too much in was well roaring, but it does it doesn't seem to uh, sustain that long, which we knew anyway, really. So it took about. Put the light on. It took about two and a half minutes using hot water to start with. It took about two and a half minutes for the safety valve to blow off. And it's just died out. Yeah, it's just died out. Seven and a half minutes, we'll say, on that run. Um, we'll have a look in the burner. There's very little residue. It does seem to burn fast. Some grey. There's plenty of water left in there. I filled it up to the top mark, as usual. It's used about a quarter. So we'll try that again. Um, so it's lasting about half the time if we can take the two burner, uh, the two tablet burner test uh, as a, a stopgap. About maybe a bit less. Perhaps, Perhaps around half as um, less time for the uh, solid fuel. So we'll we'll uh, do it all again, and then we'll give you a bit more view of the engine. Good afternoon, everybody. Here we are with an SP5D. Guess what the D stands for? No surprise, is it really? We have there a small dynamo, little DC electric motor, running reverse, of course. Uh, to uh, give you some current for the bulb which is at the back. The bulb is a small screwing top as you can see nothing overly special about that but perhaps a little bit well I suppose rare these days everything going LEDs um, it's 1.2 volts 0.25 amp um, twin cylinder setup with the engine uh, the power piston cylinders, the uh, not that new now, I suppose. I bet they've been around for years, but of course, I've been away from the scene for such a long time. Um, we've got a rather large burner here, maximum of five solid fuel tablets, but not being keen of the solid fuel tablets, as I've mentioned on the forum uh, recently. Uh, due to the guns you get underneath, um, although the new round solid fuel or newer solid fuel tablets don't seem to be half as bad, they definitely don't smell as much. Easy to light, probably due to the wax coating, I suppose. But I've done a test and I researched the forum and asked yourselves uh, some opinions and ideas. I've gone for some gel fuel, which, if I can walk past the camera without knocking it, um, I couldn't get it. Uh, that easily locally, or at least not that many different brands, but I found this one. Fuel for, uh, there you go, fuel for cooking, etc. Uh, that's from a camping place. Um, unfortunately, the one that I could get to after work that was still open, it was a seven, uh, 6 .99, I think there, you can get it for 5.99 elsewhere but not that many places and the one place that did, did uh, sell it that cheap was uh, closed and I finished work last night, I do odd shifts you see anyway so I read a few things about the fuel um, I would prefer meths, can't get a meths burner to fit, the only one that was advertised as a replacement I don't think it would have got through the hole in the uh, firebox opening, I'll show you there uh, there you go, just there. Uh, I don't think it would have gone in there. And it was so small, length and width wise, it would have fallen through the uh, the hole in the base of the uh, base plate there. So, anyway, a bit of research on the forum, and I've done a bit of a test which you can read about, but just uh, quickly. Standard test 
I say standard test, standard burner. The test was two solid fuel tablets, both lit when both was alight, set the stopwatch and the two round solid fuel tablets lasted just under 15 minutes. Not so much rigid during the tray that I was uh, that I remember from when I used it uh, many years ago, uh, or at least the old square tablets, and not too smelly either. Easier to light than the old stuff, probably because of the wax coating on them, I suppose. Then, as you can see, what I did was uh, put a little bit of a aluminium foil wall at the end, and aluminium, after experimenting, is uh, tough enough to withstand the heat because I couldn't find any tin foil full of the money. Um, that roughly two thirds full of uh, the gel fuel, which is runnier than I thought um, when I opened it, it went everywhere, or some of it did. <laughs> anyway, two thirds full roughly, and that lasted just under 10 minutes and left this. I'll try, yeah, there, just there. You see the sort of white, creamy residue? Um, granted, the burner isn't totally clean but it wasn't too bad when I started um, there's staining and that but no real uh, residue in there from anything else so it did work and it seems to be quite clearly cleanly just as hot as uh, the solid fuel at least I think uh, and indeed um, it's a blue flame with the uh, gel fuel uh, when you look on the back it's got meths in it so that's no surprise it really a bit more research though for the large SP5 burner uh, from you chaps and maybe ladies on the forum. Um, I've divided it up into smaller sections. Um, line the burner as you can see. Also it will protect the burner. It's a nice shiny one, nice big shiny one. Um, not gas of course because it's soft soldered boiler but uh, there we are. We'll by the time you've seen this bit, you'll know whether it works or not. But anyway, as you can see, we have a regulator. And I spotted an SP5 in the factory about a month back, maybe a bit more than that, with a regulator. And I thought, ah. I thought, well, I'd sooner have that than no regulator at all. Um, so, made inquiries, and they said, yes, we've got one. I thought, well, I know you have, because I've seen it. <laughs> uh, it will be... I think a standard thing now, um, but it won't be mounted on top of the boiler anymore. Uh, according to Mamad, people don't like the uh, dome on the top or the regulator on the top there. So what they're going to do is to put one on a small block here, uh, a brass tap of course, but it'll have a plastic wheel on a slightly more detailed plastic wheel, uh, similar to that on the SP7. I think yes, SP7, but I think it's a bit smaller. So that'll go there instead of uh, over here or nothing at all. So there we are, folks. Uh, pretty much standard issue. Um, so uh, hopefully, by the time we've got to this part of the video, you'll know if it works or not. Right, folks, here we go again. What I'm going to do, um, we've got oil where we need. Uh, I'm going to light the fuel in the dark so you can see it light. And it's as easy as, well, virtually as easy as mess. Now, I haven't put so much in at the, this time, so I expect a slightly lower flame height. It's a, it's a nice height at the moment, but it was really quite uh, vicious before. Anyway. Put the light back on so you can see what's what. I think uh, put a drop more. Oil on the uh, cylinders. This is literally the first, well, second half of the fire, if you like. Seems to be uh, about ready as it is. Well, I did start with hot water, as I said. Um, it obviously saves a few things, but uh, yeah, I think it's just about ready. Let's just check that flame. You see, that flame is quite rapid. It's a little bit less than it was before. I 
I would really like myths, but there we go. Right, here we go. And there's the, the light. That's flat out, still probably not quite at full speed. Though. We'll slow her down a bit. You can see the flame occasionally coming out the side. I dare say it probably does that with the solid fuel. That's a bit too much for my liking. Uh, of course that's no uh, detriment to uh, Mamad and the model. I'm using a different fuel to what they recommend. I will probably give it a go on the solid fuel anyway, just to compare. But uh, <laughs> it is a bit violent really. So I'm not sure I'll stay with the gel fuel. Um, we'll keep uh, an eye on that. But what we're going to do, let's see. That's the difference between driving nothing and driving a small ball. That's why electricity bills are so expensive, I suppose. Now, somewhere, I've got my multimeter. Let's see what we're getting out of her. Right. With the bulb in, we're not on full power. Let's just put on full power. I've got to watch those flames coming out. One point four six four five four six something like that. Alright. Let's keep going like that. And that speed 0 0.8567 0 0.9 volts. Alright, we'll take the ball bell and we'll go like the fatters. Just about flat out runs well. Three point three volts, just over three volts. Three point zero five zero six. I dare say on peak it would get to about three and a half, but it won't. Uh, won't sustain. It's dropping now down to about two point eight. So. Uh, Not quite such a uh, powerful or rather bigger motor really as I used before, but uh, it does uh, do what it's intended really. I suppose an educational tool. So I've just pushed the bulb in now and it's stopped so we'll get her going again. Well, I see the fuel's gone down now. Yeah, most of the fuel's gone in the front two compartments. So, um, it is, uh, it will run on the gel fuel quite nicely, but not that long, as we can see. I mean, uh, I'll have a look back on the uh, the time of the video and see how long we got there but I'm, I was thinking five six minutes maybe um, of course plenty of water still we are uh, it's a bit hard to see in this artificial light but um, yeah about half just under half um, from the water level indicator so um, yeah the the gel fuel does does work. There's no smell. Um, obviously, as you know, the flames been. You can see the flames were licking around a bit. Doesn't seem to cause any bother. Um, and we are indeed out of fuel again. So doesn't last very long. It's burn rate right a little. It's probably a little hotter. It's a lot quicker. I think. Uh, good stopgap fuel. Um, but uh, 
you're gonna it's gonna be at least three fills of this burner in this fashion um, of the gel fuel to probably two of the solid fuel. That said, the solid fuel is about a five or a box. You can put a five in here in the uh, this burner. Um, so that's 125 per firing. Whereas this, um, I don't know how much I've used, not a lot, I suppose. But um, it's a lot cheaper, even though you have to refill more often. So uh, take that as an aside, the fuel, uh, and a, a side experiment, if you like. A lot of you have already used it and, and continue to do so. Uh, the uh, gel fuel in a what really is has become a makeshift burner for it uh, works it's clean uh, more or less um, we'll have a look under the uh, the boiler in a minute uh, let's have a look. virtually uh, you see that virtually no real marking at all in the form of soot, which really we all knew about, didn't we? Really, uh, so that's good. But it just means replenishing the, bo the burner probably three times every uh, boiler full of water, or at least up to the level mark. So yes, it works. Works nicely. Engine strong runner. Obviously, you can see how it uh, zaps the power. With the bulb in, but a nice little model. Um, I still like to get a meth burner if I could. So if anybody is handy with their hands uh, and tools and can make me a vaporized burner, let me know, and uh, I'll happily pay you for it and uh, what have you. Uh, any costs for that? So um, for now, we'll leave it at that. Cheers all.